got time for a quick show of betting. Rixo, 100 to 30. Glenstall and Muscatite, 4 to 1. Dunbeath, 9 to 2. Ptolemeo, 7 to 1. Cockrobin, 12s. And Horage, still on 16 to 1. The favourite, Rixo. We couldn't see from here what exactly happened, whether they wrenched the plate off or managed to fix it. But he seems to be all right now. Willie Carson's got his goggles on. And Arixo hasn't sweated up at all. He's really taken the whole thing remarkably calmly. Muscatite, the one nearest to us. Arage, who has sweated up a bit, is the last to go in, I think. But Glenstall giving trouble in the stalls. I think he's all right now. Over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, the just about set. That's it. Under orders and away. And Horridge is the first to show. Horridge going on from Cock Robin and Arixo. Behind them, Muscatite, Dunbeath, then Ptolemyo and Glenstyle, the back, mar the back marker, and Horridge making it. Horridge from Arixo on the inside of Cock Robin, then comes Muscatite with Dunbeath on his outside, Ptolemyo and Glenstyle as they pass the six furlong pole. Horridge in the lead from Arixo and Cock Robin, then Muscatite with Dunbeath very close to him, and then Ptolemyo and Glenstall as they race past the five marker towards the half-mile pole now in the St. James's Palace Stakes. With Horridge in the lead from Arixo in second, and then Cock Robin, and behind them come Mustertite, and then comes Dunbeath, and then Ptolemyo and Glenstall. Past the half-mile pole and into the home stretch now, and still Horridge in the lead from Arixo second. Cock Robin is third, Mustertite is a close fourth, but Dunbeath upsides, then comes Ptolemyo being chased along, Glenstall, the back mark and into the, into the straight and Horridge has a clear advantage. Horridge with a commanding lead as they race towards the two furlong pole from Cock Robin and Mustertide and then comes Dunbeath past the two furlong pole. Steve Cawthon in the lead on Horridge. Well clear at the moment of Mustertide, Cock Robin and Dunbeath trying to unleash a run. Rixos dropped right out of it. They're past the furlong pole. There's still Horridge in the lead from Dunbeath and Ptolemyo coming there with a good run towards the stand side but Horridge still holding him as they race up towards the line. Ptolemyo putting in a tremendous round of walls to stand side. It's Horridge from Ptolemyo as they come to the line. Horridge on the far side, Ptolemyo on the near side. And Horridge has just won it from Ptolemyo. Could be a photo. Third was Don Beath and four must have tied. Behind them came Cock Robin and behind Cock Robin was Glenstall and then tailed off the favourite Arixo. Officially it's a photograph but I think there's little doubt that Horridge has staged a great comeback this afternoon and has held Ptolemyo at the end of the St James's Palace Stakes with Don Beath third and must have tied fourth. But officially it's a photo finish, a photo finish between number five, Horridge, owned by Mr. A.R. Rashid, trained by Matt McCormick and written by Steve Cawthon, and Ptolemyo, number ten, owned by Mr. Carlo D'Alessio, trained by Luca Kumani and written by Greville Starkey, with very close between third for third and fourth also between uh, Dunbeath and Muscatite. But here now, as we await the outcome of the photo, which I think we'll find the result going to Horridge is how they raced into the closing stages, reviewed by Julian Wilson. Well, yet another real Royal Ascot turn-up. I think many of us had written off this horse, but how wrong we were. He was always dictating the pace and went a terrific gallop. And a furlong and a half to run, he's still got three lengths over Muscatite, Cock Robin, who threw down his challenge early in the straight, and Dunbeath, who looms up on the outside there. And last to challenge, fifth now, but just making his ground on the outside, is Ptolemyo, ridden by Greville Starkey, who has eight lengths to make up with just over a furlong to run. Now Horosh is coming to the end of his tether. He changes his legs, gets very tired indeed. Steve Cawthon riding for all his worth, at the same time trying to keep him together. And at this point, it looked as though Ptolemyo might just have the speed to come and wear him down. But this horse, courage has always been his strongest suit. He showed it last year in the Coventry Stakes, and he's shown it again here, holding on to win a famous race by about a neck from Ptolemyo in second and Dunbeath third. Well, we can see the head-on view and see the degree to which Steve had to solicit this horse just to keep going, because he was out on his feet, but he just wouldn't give up. Greville's come wide on the outside, he's had to come round his horses, but he came early enough if he was good enough, and if the leader was going to stop, which I think still eight out of ten of us would have thought that he would. But he's kept running true, he's kept running straight, and what terrific courage he's got. And outside, on the outside, Greville just too late on Ptolemyo. 
And those pictures by RTS. Well, it's only uh, Matt McCormick's third winner of the season, but what a winner. Mr. Abed Rashid's Horage or Oraj, who was such a brilliant two-year-old last season, back in the sparkling form of his juvenile days. Certainly the whatever happens in the next three days of the Royal Meeting, this will be one of the biggest shocks as his rehabilitation was certainly not, could not be widely anticipated here. Here comes the result of the photograph. First number five, Horridge. Second number 10, Ptolemyo. Third number three, Dunbeath. And fourth number seven, Muscatite. So just to recap that official result, uh, which looked a foregone conclusion, you'll probably agree from the rerun. First number five, Horridge, owned by Mr. Abed Rashid, trained by Matt McCormick and ridden by Steve Cawthon, Steve's 30th of the season, incidentally. Second was number 10, Ptolemyo, owned by Mr. Carlo D'Alessio, trained by Luca Kumani and ridden by Grover Starkey. And third was number three, Dunbeath, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained by Henry Cecil, ridden by Lester Piggott. And fourth, number seven, Muscatite. Horridge, one of the best sons of uh, Tumblewind, the 18 to 1 winner. Having won no less than nine in a row, nine of his ten races as a two year old, this coat by Tumblewind out of Musician by Sicombre. He certainly didn't appear to have trained on, but how he's confounded the critics today. The full starting price is as follows. First number five, Horridge, 18 to one. Second number 10, Ptolemyo, six to one. And third number three, Dunbeath, nine to two. First, Horridge, 18 to one.